So you do have the GCSE revision tab over here. We do have GCSE um, papers, A-level revision, A-level papers, key stage two revision and resources. But we're going to look particularly at the um, GCSE revision in particular. We're going to look at um, the GCSE revision in particular. And when you go into the tab, by clicking into the tab, we can get into the um, topics. And we got the grade one um, information over here. We got the grade two information grade three so on so forth if you go all the way down to grade nine and grade eight and nine pretty much they're together it's a very very useful information um when it comes to maths genie it is very very important that we make take the most advantage of the gcsc revision segments of maths genie websites we got things such as Edexo Higher, AQA Foundation, AQA Higher, OCR Foundation, OCR Higher. So if you want to check out Edexo Higher, um, you can see this is just for the Edexo May, June 2022 Higher GCSE revision. This is very simple what you guys can do, literally. It's, it sorts everything out for you perfectly. If you're going to go to the AQA Foundation, you can go here and go to the AQA. This is just for the AQA Foundation only. And you guys can tell this is just until grade five. So it's very, very important to take advantage of it. For us, um, when I was taking my GCSEs, I think most students do the edXO. That's why it's at the start over here. So most students edXO. So I'm going to go with the edXO, but the same applies to AQA and OCR. The thing that you will do for here is the fact that you'll go with edXO higher. And this is just revision topics slash list for May, June, May, June 2022 exams. If it's 2023, 2024, it's the same thing. There will be something like this just for the specific exams for this particular year. But most of the time it's going to just be, it doesn't really have to say 2022 here. It could just say May, June exams because there's no change in specification anytime soon. When it comes to the edXL higher, you can go into that. And now we got the edXL higher. And we got important things such as negative numbers, um, exam questions, negative numbers, exam questions, booklet and solutions. If you go back to um, the tab, you can see that from just all of this alone, it was only the negative numbers that was taken out as an important um, factor from the um, Excel um, exams from June and May. You can see that the Mass Genie website does a lot of things by itself. So you can see it just takes that out. It's, that's the only important thing that they assume is important for the grade one parts of um, Mass Genie. And when you go into the negative numbers, you've got videos. It's very, very organized, very well. You can see there's notes at the same time. And this is where I'm going to teach you guys how to make the most out of this. And instead of going to a grade one topic, let's just go for a grade five topic so we can make things easier for ourselves. And at the same time, be able to focus on something very easily 